It's about being effective. It's not about how powerful you are. It's just delightful to see how much can be accomplished if you're in the right place in the right time. How that impacts your, your partner and you don't have to pile drive them in order for them to get pile driven. My name is Marcia Turner. I am the Chief Instructor and in Dojo Cho at the Chicago Aikikai, and I'm a Rokoda. So I've been practicing Aikido for 37 plus years at this point. I was enrolled in ballet classes when I was four. So I, I've always done a movement art from a very early time. And then I, I started other dance classes after that along the way. And I also started gymnastics when I was you know, tumbling and then gymnastics when I was, I don't know, nine or nine or 10. And so movement and um, body awareness was an interest from a very early age. And it was something I, I honestly can't remember not knowing how to do. I was interested in doing something that uh, was able to capitalize on all of those kinds of experiences. I uh, started taking a couple of classes at the University of Chicago. Um, I was uh, fencing at the time. Women's competitive fencing team at the University of Chicago. And a friend of mine wanted to try fencing. I wanted to try Aikido. And we traded classes and uh, about five classes in, um, my fellow students dragged me up to a seminar with Satome Sensei that was being held at the uh, Chicago Aikikai and I started taking classes there after that. You know, I think what has struck me as cool about Aikido over the time that I've been doing it is that that what's cool has changed. What was cool in the beginning was I loved the running around falling down. You know, I loved the big break falls and, and I loved the, the tumbling and, and, and I loved the, the, the excitement of, of the movement. And I think over time, what has excited me about Aikido is what is cool about the subtlety of the movement and how much you can do with so little. And I didn't get that at first. Personally, I think Aikido is great on a variety of levels. You're, you don't get to be an expert quickly. You get better because you apply yourself and you're consistent over time. And that is what is useful to understand when you try anything. And it's gotta be something that you want to try further rather than think you're going to do for, you do X and Y and Z and, and, and you're done, you're good. You're never good. <laughs> you always, you always have something more that you can, can do, can improve. You, um, there's always something that's, that's farther down the path than, than you are that makes you want to go farther down the path to find out what it is. It's not for everybody, um, but I think you don't know that until you give it a shot. And uh, I think giving it a shot is certainly worthwhile.